So the first thing to do whenever you're carrying out an ultrasound guided injection is to get a really nice clear image. Now a simple way of finding the right position is to find the posterior aspect of the acromion and just place the probe just underneath the um, acromion there. It's important to know which side is which, so you can see the top of this is on the right side, so I'm actually gonna spin that round because I'd prefer that to be on the left side. Now, if we look at the image, what we can see here is the skin, subcutaneous tissue, deltoid, and quite clearly, which is a nice landmark to find, you can see the humeral head, which is obviously nice and round and bright, and you can see the articular cartilage on top of there. If we slide further around to the back, you can quite nicely now see the glenoid. Now I would recommend at this point, even on top end machines, that you reduce your frequency. I'm down to 10 uh, megahertz, and you can see that's given me a really nice image. It is important just to highlight, and you can see um, a slight pulsation there, um, and you can obviously put your um, Doppler on, and you should be able to see um, a small vessel. Now, it is a long way from the target, but it's important to identify that, and if your needle angle is too shallow, um, then you may find that um, you, are, you, you, you do start encroaching this area here. Now, this is the spinal glenoid notch, and you can see that there's gonna be an artery and a nerve, so we need to avoid that. The target, is obviously between the glenoid and the humerus. So let's just go through, we've got the deltoid, we've got the infraspinatus muscle belly, and through the middle there, you can see the infraspinatus tendon. Now, when I first started injecting, I was always cautious about putting the needle through the tendon, because I thought it might be a bit more sore. I do try and avoid it still, um, but certainly it's nothing you need to be too concerned about. You can pass a needle through that tendon uh, and it doesn't seem to cause any extra pain. You can see the labrum sitting on top of the glenoid and the target area is here. Now this is the posterior joint recess in here and this is where we're gonna be targeting our needle placement. So just coming from the top left region here all the way down, into the region there which you can see which is the posterior joint recess.